Max and I'm in the process of uh, putting this 150 back together. As you can see, the uh, carbs are whistle clean. All right, so the first thing I want to set is the primary pickup, which should be around four to six degrees. Um, I actually have to set at five. We'll come back to that. I'll show you how to set the Max and this without a timing light. But right now, as you can see here, let me get a light. As you can see, it's just barely touching the cluster, and that's what you want. You want that that black piece to hit the front part of that cluster as soon as it hits five degrees. You can adjust that. Like if that's not the case, you can adjust that by loosening the two screws that are on top of here. But so when you pull that arm forward, there is a little divot before the secondary secondary hits. And then once the secondary hits, you want to adjust the throttle stop screw to where all the carbs are completely open. Here, let me get a light. Alright, so now the sun's not beating me in my face, now we can see what we're talking about here. Alright, so that lever, this lever right here, has a little curve in it. Curve in it to slow down the butterflies from opening. You want that curve to actually hit the front start curving before the secondary pulls all the carbs completely open. All right, so before we get into the timing process, I just wanna make sure that all the butterflies are completely closed and everything's pushed back. I don't know if you can see that there or not. They're completely closed, there should be no gaps or it's gonna affect your idle. Yep, closed, closed, closed. Okay, so now I have a bungee cord just holding everything open. I'd like to make sure that Every single butterfly is completely open. The bottom one's kind of tough to see. As you can see, all the butterflies are completely open. So now let's get into timing. All right, so after you find a top dead center, we're gonna be setting the, the primary, which is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this without a timing light. What I did was take the number one, number one spark plug, took completely off, put a, Put a gap tester here, grounded it against here, and then what we're gonna do, let's see, I don't know if you can see that or not, set around five degrees. Uh, timing calls for four to six. So what we're gonna do is gently turn, we're gonna gently turn the distributor. So right there, it's already set. So that's going to be a primary, so we're going to lock that screw down. Now we're going to move on to the secondary, which, let me turn this around, the sun's kind of bright. Okay, so this screw is actually pretty easy to set, just when you move the arm, once the bottom of the distributor stops, that's where you want that to hit. And as you can see, it's already maxed out. Okay, so that one's already set. That's your secondary pickup. So now we're going to be moving on to the max spark setting which is right here as you can see i have it set around maybe 20 to 19 maybe 19 and a half you always want to err on the side of caution with this and again you just want to loosen that lock nut and then as you turn it when you hear that pop so what i'm going to do is just tighten that down and that's going to be your max spark setting set about 19 and a half and this screw is pretty easy it's just a throttle stop you just want that to act as a stop that way the butterflies don't actually hit the back and you're bending your butterflies all right so now the timing is set uh, let's go ahead and make a talk all right we're back
anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>